What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we're trying a really interesting deck. I think this could be really good. This is going to be the Aggro Molecale deck. Uh, Calgro. So where this started was uh, Click Piece. Click Piece have a really cool interaction with Molecale. Not only if you, can, if you have a couple of Click Piece, this can be really, really good because they'll turn into 3-3s. Uh, three because they will grow every single time. But if you play Molecale... Okay, so... Um, What's the guy's name? I think his name is Too Many Toasters. On uh, it has a little bit of an explanation of when the Molecale will turn it into a two-cost card, a three-cost card. Basically, your Click P is going to be a two-cost card, and then the Molecale will actually leap it into a three, um, which is a very cool interaction. The Molecale really can work very well on any of the cards, even True for Two. Uh, not the most super aggro card, but again, this will be turning into two, you know, a, a two drop and a one drop combined is going to be very good. Um, even like the, you know, split P, they could be relying on a very low attack, meaning you take this out. And then turning it again, either into a Pine Clone or a Molecale will uh, preserve its stats. The damage is already done. Uh, same thing really with the Poison Ivy. You know, with Solar Flare, we run Poison Ivy and put Elderberry on top of it. Obviously, you can't do that with Captain Combustible because Elderberry is a solar card, but what you could do, again, it's the same theory. This is a very high attack, five attack, you get that damage in, it's an aggro deck, they put something, you know, garbage in front of it, and then you transform this with either, again, Pine Clone or Molecale, uh, which will at least turn into a 3-3, which is fine. It'll usually trade well against whatever they put in front of it. Um, otherwise, again, it'll turn to a random 4-drop. That'll usually be enough, again, to trade against whatever garbage they're putting there. Same thing with the Velocirash Hunter. This is a card that grows and can do a lot of damage. Again, not super aggro the first turn you play it, but uh, the accumulative effect of these Dino Roars will make it very powerful. And turning this, again, into 2-4-drops or into 2-stack 3-3s three is really, really good value. Let's see how this deck actually performs. The Pupstrom can be used as an aggro card. Just add free, essentially, bullseye damage in a lane because team-ups... Do not charge the opponent's block meter separately. Otherwise, it's a zero cost 3-3 three, three when you play it with Pine Clone, and it's a zero cost random one drop when you play it with Molecale. It's also teamed up. Uh, I think that's definitely going to be good enough. I'm not running any, like, Gatling Peas or Gloom Shrooms in this deck because you're really going to be playing, you know, tempo on curve, trying to play a strong play every turn, uh, aggressively attacking their face. Since on turn four, you're almost always going to be either playing Pine Clone or Molecale, you're not going to have any Mushrooms left on the Seven board months. or Let's Peas go. reliably to be able to run Gatling and Gloom Shroom adventures. We'll try the deck like this. If it needs a little bit more sustain, maybe I'll switch something up and just add some more late game. Maybe just Gatling... It doesn't even have to cover a P in order for it to be viable. Maybe just throw Gatling on top of this. I want to try the deck like this. Let's see how it goes. Hope you guys enjoy. Maybe I'll eventually like take out Puff Shroom and put in Gatling if it's not strong enough. We also have really good superpowers and we're charging our block meter with the split P. Should be able to um, have enough power on this deck. Also, we get really good consistent early game stuff. So we're going to only keep one. This is a little bit weird. Now, every once in a while, we're not going to get good early game, and we're just going to... Oh my gosh, it's happening. We're just going to play it like a Pine Club Molecule deck. So unfortunately, we're bricked to the heavens. Imagine running more late game. It would just make this happen more often. Oh, this sucks. I almost wish I just kept that Berry Blast. Maybe I should have, man. Anyway, we're doing bets. If you think this deck will go 8 wins out of 10 vote, yeah, 7 and 3 or fewer vote. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry em up. Uh, we got our berry blast back, so we can at least weather the storm a little bit. Hopefully it's not Swashbuckler. Thank you. So much less scary here. Um, the... The... Oh, this is such a weird thing. Uh, there's going to be another deck where we run Click P and Imitator and Molecule, but that'll be for a different day. So we can Berry Blast this. I'm probably going to play like a Pine Clone Dry. It loves the top deck of Puff Shroom. So fortunately, the opponent is just throwing garbage gravestones at us. Things that, are, you know, if this was a Stealthy Imp, even a Line Dancing Zombie, it's just a lot of damage. We did get the Puff Shroom, so that's awesome. I'm going to just let this go face. Uh, these are two drops. So, one of them is very likely a Sumo, but the other one will lose the trade to the Pine Clone here. We'll just go Pine Clone Molecule. Hopefully neither are Sumos. No Sumo! God damn it. 
Okay, so he'll move lane two Pine Clone into lane one. That's a good play. It's pretty easy. Thank you, Eric, for 200. Hello. God damn it. All right. This is really unfortunate. I mean, look, we're running so many ones, twos, and threes, and we just got bricked with all of our fours. Quite sad indeed. Uh, I probably just mall kill here. Ugh. This is rough, though, man. Astricado is a good card. Hopefully, that's not a, a pogo. God damn it. So, I mean, he's just. Uh, this is not good, guys. Call United for 18 months. If I get Meteor, what would I do? This, we do want to survive since we can. It's a decent, you know, it's a 5 1 against Neptuna. We can also Molecule it down the stretch. Now, what? This curve is still not. I might just go for Pine Clones here. Even using this to get a 3-3 three, three is okay. I'm probably just play, get, doing 3 Pine Clones. I wish I could play a couple of cards here. 3 and 4 does not work. This is this game has been an, a, an absolute SH1T storm in terms of our card draw. And we're actually still in the game, so that's a good sign. <laughs> I'm giving one of these. Who knows what's in here? <sighs> Oh, somebody kill me! Come on, man! We can't deal with that crap! Oh my gosh, we're done. We're not gonna win this game, guys. Whatever, this game doesn't count. I mean, it'll count for the bets, but... This is not This is not... This is... Oh, come on, Battle Cruiser. Wow, nice. Beautiful, bro. We're, he's just running shark, okay? Well, we can't make good trades, but we can do this. This is actually fine. There's nothing that bad that happens here. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Please don't have a... Oh my gosh, okay. He has a card. Don't get the... Ex okay, that's fine. Huh? Actually, we just lose now. Yeah, we 100% lose. Never mind. la di da di da Break the shutout. If he would have gotten this, we could have actually saved ourselves with no, we want to save ourselves Meteor Shark wins anyway. Alright guys, own one. Let's just forget that happened and we're gonna move the hell on. Absolute crap storm. The schnitzel has hit the fan. Uh, if any of you can explain the expression, the shit hit the fan. Meaning, when everything goes completely wrong, let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. I've had discussions with my, my brother. <laughs> he has a very interesting theory. I'll tell you it in a second. How does that mean? What, where, what, is, what is that referring to? There's shit hitting a fan? Like, when has that ever happened? Anyway, my brother's ex... <laughs> my brother's explanation is that it's it's a ceiling fan and it's piled up so high <laughs> that it hit the fan <laughs> it's disturbing i know um i think we trade these we gotta maybe against aggro crazy play defensive unfortunately we have a pretty good defensive hand not gonna lie Okay. Black IP could be good if he passes here. Hell yeah. That is what I'm talking about right now. Now if he does anything, he gets punished. Hopefully that'll be it. If we get a 3-4 and he gets one bullseye damage to face. We also get two cost three threes in our deck. I mean we won that that we won that big time. Look at this. Look at this OP card we have and he doesn't. Bruh. So we'll get two molecules if we do this. No, we just we just let these tray. Two two polyclones. I actually have two options for next turn. We can go two two or we can just pawn clone. We'll see what happens. Welcome to I I would have never thought about that in my, in my entire life. Let's fry him up. 
This is really cool here. Well, that's with the fireworks, though. Talk about, bruh. I think this is revivable. He's very, you know, he could be going for a bungee. The, these will be okay later. I mean, this is a 3-3. Turning a 4-1 into a 3-3 is probably a good thing, but I think uh, getting pine clones is better. Should I be playing around trapper territory here? I'll play around block meter. How about that. Again, a 3-3 here is better than a 4-2 against Brainstorm. Maybe against Rustbolt it would be a different story. Regift are interesting. I'd love to see a shroom for two here. I can't read this whole thing, bro. This it's too long. Wow, double click B looks awesome here. Looks absolutely fantastic. Look how good this play is. So we, it's on turn five we get two four fours on the field. It's like a it's like the equivalent of um, onion rings puff shroom. Man, that is a good play. He only has got one. I mean, what is he gonna do with one brain that could even do anything? Here? So we have this really extreme. We don't have a play for next turn, unfortunately. I wonder if I should have factored that in. Backup dancers. Got it. We can just time to shine. Uh, you're right. This is very likely a, a Valkyrie deck. He's spamming regifters now. It's like, Mel, he might be running Valk, so we should probably try to keep our lanes clogged. I think I'm gonna Berry Blast here. Just to not let him. You know, OTKS. Uh, I could just go face. I think this is right. And this is right. And this is right. Again, he can teleport one guy, maybe, if he has a one drop. Doesn't even necessarily have one. We... Might win. It's kind of... It's nice to split 4 plus 4, because now he gets 1 health regardless. He went upstairs and used a hole in the floor. Okay, maybe... Uh, I don't know, man. That's the working theory, is that someone found a hole in the floor in the in the attic and it turned out to just be a fan that goes into the kitchen. <laughs> what happened? He conceded? It looks like it was a Valk deck and he just knew he was defeated there. So well, that's cool. Pretty good against Valk, I think. Brainstorm Valk. Man, I wish Valkyrie was viable with someone other than Brainstorm. Sun is hot. Your mom is hot! Okay, we need a two. We need a two. That is a two. That is a two from hell. Oh my gosh. Let's go, guys. I guess I'll play around Trapper. I guess why not? I hope he doesn't get summoning and remove this, because otherwise, we are gooch to gooch. Honestly, even if he bungees this, it's okay. We get a two cost three three next turn. So good. Can someone, um, oh, Toaster. Hi, yes. Can you go through the, too many Toasters is here. You can see his name. It just disappeared in the chat. Can you give us a quick rundown again in terms of which click bees turn into their own cost and which turn into the bigger cost? Because that's very relevant for this video. I did give you the shout out though. If you guys want to see someone who goes through some really weird game mechanics and actually figures them out, unlike me, check out uh, Too Many Toasters on YouTube. He has a bunch of old videos going through this stuff. Can you give us a little quick explanation here? I'll try to read read, read what you say. Because I'm sure everyone is wondering, and everyone's too lazy to go and actually look at your video, so... <laughs> 
Anyway. So we fruit caked uh the fruit caked the two drop. I mean we're winning these trades big time. So we'll go with you. We'll see what happens, Molokel. Maybe we'll set up some shrooms first. It would be nice at this point with all these shrooms to get a pine clone before we Molokel, so we'll see. It'll just go everywhere if it hits a spinning object. I know, but why? That's not a thing, though. What's the fan? The a fan, it should say. I don't know. I'm sorry, I might be nitpicking the expression, but... It seems like it's a reference to the fan. It seems like it's referring to an actual thing that happens. We actually get a pine clone. Love to see it. So how do we do this play? I'm pretty sure it's going to be you. I I don't know, man. There's, he passes turn four. Is there any world where I actually play around chickening? You know what? I'm going to do the half measure play since we're going to be able to shroom pine clone next turn. I'm going to commit one shroom. Now this is still... The chickening still removes a whole card and a half. But it's it's not actually that bad. This is a really good pine clone into a Malka. Let's play smart. <laughs> That's not chickening. I wish I was chickening. Nice. So it's gonna be shroom for two and pine clone will actually save a lane for the Malka, which is awesome. Love to see it. Pine clone will go tuck neatly, and we actually have Malka after Malka now. Brainstorm is not going to be able to deal with this well. Please don't play fireworks. Just don't. No, no, no. No, 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 Thank you. So, Shroom for two. Doesn't really matter, the lanes. The Pine Clone should always go here, though. I love this. So we'll have five, five drops next turn if all goes well. Did uh, the toaster get back to us here? I've been using your Grave Guards deck like a madman. It's so fun. Grave Guards, yeah, that was legend. fun. Thank you, Colin VG, for eight months. Uh, we can, so we can go Molokel, and then we'll just go if he kills the small kill we'll, we'll do the double next turn definitely take the small kill when you have it and that is what i call a molecule i usually have such bad luck but i'm talking about some of the best five drops in the entire game right there get wrecked like why this guy needs eight fruitcakes now i don't even know what he's so oh, he's done man he done if he kills the Astrocado, it procs the Roars. Oh, this is so efficient, man. Double Allosaurus. That is a Molokel. Man, that was good. I mean, four insanely good. Even the stats, the thing, this is, cannot die to a fruitcake. This is going to be alive for the rest of the game. That was, that was epic. 30-30. Put that in the highlight count because that was really good. He kills that. <laughs> Actually, I can't even die to work. We can't even heal. Oops. So now we have. If toasters can get back to me, maybe I should know if I'm going to be plowing. The, the two four drops is going to be better than a, a five drop anyway. But look at this small account now, guys. This is insane. So we're going to get five four drops and three six drops. Chomper. We got a cop. Okay, this four drop was sad. The fours were really bad. We also just get bonus little buddies here. Amazing. Looks like toasters left here. Let me see. Click the molecule. I can't watch the video during the stream, but if he has a little explanation in the description, I'll uh 
I don't actually see it here. Can you actually look this up on me? Can I Google search it? Here it is. How much do click fees cost? Uh, we won! I love this deck. I like how the- I love how this is a completely different- Usually use Pine Clone and Mall of Calic. You know, you just control, you try to set up maybe some Raptors or some Shrooms on turn th three. I love how this deck doesn't play patiently, and the Pine Clone and the Mall Kill are just those win more cards that do really well on top of everything. At level one. Dare we get rid of Berry Blast here? Well, we have a two already. There's not much use in keeping two twos. I actually look for a one here now. I think I still look for a one. What is Grave Garks? It's a Neptuna deck. Look it up. Look up. Look just on YouTube. Neptuna Grave Garks. It should come up. It'll be something I post in the last month. So Click Fees buff every Click Fees cost on the board with their ability. A Click Fees base cost is one regardless of the cost of play. Click Fees base cost is one. Okay, so this is how it works. When you play a Click Fee, it always starts on as one. Even if you play it as a three cost Click Fee, it's a one drop. So if you Molecule it, it will turn into a two. Man, did he just do all that? Oh, sheesh. Sheesh. Okay, so we'll get him with this. Now, if you have a click P on the field and you play another click P, that click P now, it starts at one when you played it. Now its cost is two. It's the one that was on the field. This new one you played is now going to be one. So now in that situation, if you play if you play two click piece you play a click p in one and a click p in two then you play a click p in two they're both three threes if you play molecule so the one in one will turn into a three cost card because it started at one you played the second click p it turned into a two drop and it'll now the molecule leaps it into a three cost card if you have a click p that the click p in lane two that you just played that will turn into a two cost card because it was played and it wasn't buffed by a different click P. That's a concise explanation. So there's a couple options here. Using our super on this, I wonder if this is worth it in this deck. Um, I think I'm a three three trades pretty well against Imp Commander next turn, so I'm just gonna set this up. Did I get that right? If you're still here, let me know. I just skimmed through the video and read the text. So we could just Pine Clutch, but kind of just depends on the matchups. There is also a, a world where we just... Yeah, nice now we have Berry Blast. There might be a world where we just... Um... Okay. So we have two plus one. This is still me he means he still draws a card and we end up with no field. Absolutely no field. Pine clone would mean we have two cards in the field to molecule, so I think that's gonna be correct. Well pine clone here. This looks good. It means he ends up with an M commander, but we gotta develop our stuff. We'll have two five drops next turn. He's not gonna be able to deal with it. And he's not leaving over any brains. Really, again, luxury of playing against a zombie. Who just plays minions and goes down to zero brains like that it means you can make really good reactive pike one plays and not you know plant plays and not get punished so he actually drew two cards there huh kind of rough he would have drawn one no matter what we did unless we yeah i think regardless <laughs> 
So now, uh, I think Click P and Click P puts two cost three threes in your deck, so that's... No! Where did... Okay, he's just running this. This is the bane of the deck. We made good Pine Clone trades, and now we have nothing. Nothing to show for it. So I'm gonna go... Well, we have another Pine Clone, fortunately. So we can always do it like this. Damn, that was a pretty high value uh, gizzard thing. So now we'll have split P molecule. Three drop, two fives. We can also bury bless instead of the split P. We're we're stable. Uh, we only have five health. There's a shroom. A little late. It'd be nice to have this for the pine clone, because then it turns into a four, and now it turns into a one. It still could be okay then. If he plays more, I don't. We don't want him drawing more cards. Maybe I'll very blast this. We'll see. Could you not? Oh my gosh! I, this is the most annoying guy in the history of PVZ heroes. You can't do this against exactly my deck that runs the Pine Clones in order to make good trades in a bunch of lanes. <laughs> this is so annoying! It's actually not a terrible idea to run that with imps, though, in all seriousness, because imps spread, make terrible trades, and this just cleans it up. That's a great idea, actually. I'm going to run imp gizzard lizard. But now, I mean, it really, really messed us up here. Um... Man, this split P is gonna annihilate us too. I don't even know what to do here, man. It's gonna proc the block anyway. <laughs> that that's a really cool deck idea. I'm writing that down, man. Infinity imps with Gizzard. Blizzard. Too clean. Did he really just laser? Oh, man. This guy has every answer, man. Craze. What am I... It's, it's guaranteed he can't do anything. He just plays any minion in lane two and we lose. God damn. I mean, that is what kills our Gizzard Lizard wrecks this deck. Um, we can actually split P, which is interesting. Uh, split P will actually, could actually make us live, theoretically. There's no point in drawing Molecule, right? I don't think there's any point in this. Uh, yeah. We got this from Buried Treasure. But we still could live if we roll a 3 and a 2. Digging for a card. We we usually just die here though. Yep. Yeah. Alright, we're two and two. The two losses were a flu. I honestly think this deck, like the, what the scorecard says, I think this deck is performing really well. I mean, that will kill us. Multiple gizzard lizards like that, man, on the turns that we're making great, but I mean we were we the pine clones were amazing if we didn't have gizzard lizards. Who even runs that crap? And if he was even running chickening, it would have been fine because we had Molecule. Oh, that, that sucks, man. That's a good, good curve, good hand. I'm gonna spam the shroom for in this deck. We spam the shroom for two. I think we take this damage too. It's a little bit weird, but we want to go face, and we want both of these to survive for the Molecule. We don't want to be then doing one, one to face for our two turns. It's not worth it. That's a good deck. Gizzard plus imps. Plus you can run like just imp throwing imp and then the little useless imps you got or the imposter minion. Uh, they can always be used as a base for gizzard lizard. Kinda smart. Kinda smart. We'll commit this next turn to win a trade in lane 4. It's good to surprise him with it. Better than getting one damage. Probably. Could you not California roll me? Yes, okay. <laughs> okay. Everything's fine. 
Everything is A-O Gucci K. We do get to surprise him with this, which is awesome. So this is a this will be a good molecule too. We'll get a two, some fours, and a three. It's a good posture. It's running a See if he gets a bungee, but uh, he's running a mushroom, a uh, mustache deck with leprechauns. There's also a chance that we can solve one of these. Bro, don't do that. That's what you got from Quasar. That's a two for one. That's so annoying. Can we get Meteor, please? Please? <sighs> Time to Shine doesn't make this live, though. So annoying, man. All right. Time to shine and is gonna go together with this. So we still get our four drops. It's okay. That was a really good moon uh breathe environment. What was it called? Yeah, ice moon. Uh -huh. I think he's going for chickening. I I honestly would rather Black IP Berry Blast here. And not Molecal quite so soon. But if he's going for Chickening... You think he would run Chickening in this deck? Actually, this lives to Chickening. Ah, Chickening's not even that terrible. I'm gonna go with this play. The the pine clone punishes the the I'm sorry the black IP punishes him pretty hard here. Should this go here though? It's worse against chickening clearly. That's all I did thinking cap so huge punish. Again saving these two together can end up doing some crazy stuff. Damn, that's so annoying. Please don't get something stupid. So he kills this for free now. Stupid, he should have killed it. Dumbass. <laughs> this dies anyway. He should have killed it on the spot. We have Molkel here, because it's a uh, it's a team. Wonder if there's anything. So super time to shine. If he commits a five drop, we just super time to shine, but otherwise, this is the play. We probably want the four drop to tank, yeah. It's gonna have to remove something here. Another Molecal, let's go! The Molecal Ball! Bluesberry! Extremely cool! Ha 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 We'll do this next turn. There's no place. We nice that we have a team up minion, though. I know Peanut's not very good. But um, we can. we can. It means we can always play a guy next turn. Fruit caking that, okay. Ugh. Ugh. We're in really good shape. Uh, we want to cycle the block meter here, so we really want to proc the block. Can you proc the block? Thank you. Now we win with this in four lanes. Literally, I don't know, man. I don't know. Ooh, and <laughs> three and two. Against Captain Combustible. You are never safe! La 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 Got him. It's like an uh, an old like '90s Jewish dance song. Orthodox Jewish. It's kind of like cheap, like cheap rock and roll, I guess. Yeah, it's like cheap rock and roll, but with Jewish words, with Hebrew words. <laughs> Dakani Machaser, Dalakani Makani, Zema Marshan Emar, Bimarantha. Really want a one drop? Should I just keep it? We don't need to play ones against Immortitia. I'll just go two, three, four. Screw it. This is fine. Aggro deck not mulganing for a one drop. She usually controls when we play on one. It's really past turn one and start playing on two is when Immortitia gets into big doo doo. Really doesn't have a great answer to to um Poison Ivy either. I mean this is this is the bane. I probably will commit a buff stream this turn. 
I'm playing that on heights too. Pretty awesome. It's just extra damage. Eh, we don't want to do the one damage in that case, but it still punishes pretty hard. Begin the tempo. Pine clone would be nice. There's Jewish rock and roll. Captain Cucumber is nice. We'll see if he has like an acid rain, but it'll survive for the next molecule. So, summoning there. That's good. So we actually draw a card from this, which is so nice, and then we'll just leap it into extra, extra read all about it. We got this, which dies fossil. Huh? Bananasaurus Rex. This man's gonna get Bananasaurus wrecked. So now he commits a gravestone. I mean, there's not a lot he can do. I, I should probably. Well, we could Molokel here. Shooting for two Molokel ain't bad. Yeah, playing this, it's too greedy. I'll play the Bananasaurus Rex after. This should be fine. Man, the, the this living, though, would be so nice to draw another card. What would the other play be? It's probably like teleportation zombie. I think we take this Molokel. We gotta just put this girl away. This'll be fun. Hell yeah. So we got extra card draw. We got interesting. Uh, this is a really, really strong card. Picanolith is against Demorticia. The stream is just going to be a. Uh, the doubleman's just going to be back up. That's cool. It's more card draw. And it's not going to be able to deal with the. Not going to be able to deal with the actual Star Lord. So we're just continuing to draw here. It also turned into things that were strong enough. I mean, five drops plus a two drops should usually deal with that anyway. A little bit of Scorch. A little bit of love. Get down tonight. It was a pup shroom. It was an imitator. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Save this. Starch Lord's good here. The card draw is fine. Just means we're not, not going to run out of steam this game. Probably something a little more aggro actually would have been better. Anyway. <laughs> I, I'm serious. For six games now, this deck has performed well. We've had two flukes. It happens. I hope we can get to the 8 and 2 today because, uh, honestly, incredible. I'm so impressed with how this deck is performing. This is such a new way of playing Pine Claw Molecule. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's like win condition in an aggro deck. Who would have thought? We should try this with like a haunted pumpkin, maybe. Because really, is there any solar cards that this would work really well with? Really, what even are we running Mega Grow? It's just for the the click P. There must be a version of this with solar that would just be amazing. With solar flare. So this is cool. I think I'm gonna. Look for some actual aggression, okay. Setting up the Shroom into turn 4 Pine Clone is better than keeping turn 5 Molecule anyway. We have 4 in the deck, we can draw on there. Do a little dance. Make So we want to set this up later. It doesn't really matter which lane we put this in. It's actually less... I just don't want this to get Trapper territory on turn 1. Again, if he bungees or lightning bolts, that this traded with a superpower, and then it still won the trade. The superpowers are two cost cards. You gotta always consider a one cost card trading with a superpower. Yeah, I gotta consider that to be a win. So we got we went for two of them. So pretty sure we should I keep one alive? Cause this is a pine club. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Nah, don't be stupid. Let's counter what he's doing. It doesn't matter what lanes he's going. I'm gonna meteor the other one. 
This Pine Clone is becoming a little bit sad, but really, taking out everything that he's going to do is fine. Uh, so the idea is going to be aggro, solar, player with Pine Clone. Molecule? Like, Haunted Pumpkin is actually the worst card to, to Molecule. <laughs> Probably a terrible idea. Maybe there's a different deck, but... Besides for Raptors, what's an amazing card to Molecule? And click B. Do a little dance. Uh, so we'll just go all in on setting up the Pine Clones here. Not a whole lot's gonna do. A Kanga can kill one guy here. God damn it, Kanga. God damn it, Kanga. <laughs> It's still okay. As long as he doesn't take out another one of these shrooms, we're fine. Don't have Trapper right now. Oh my gosh, if he does that. Kanga, man. Kanga is becoming the zombie Colonel Pult. Such a good card. I wonder if I play the Pine Clone here. Do a little dance. We probably want that yeah, six damage to go face. I'm gonna pine clone at one. We need the damage. We can do this next turn. Clear the lane with the berry blast. Ooh, now we actually do it like this because we want the six the six to go face priority. Rock the block next turn. It's just clears a lane. Either one of these is okay. Uh, theoretically. He ends up with no. He ends up with a minion this way. We also end up with a little bit of a healthier pine clone. Doesn't really make a difference. We have a three two instead of a three one. This was probably right. He has a four one. It's it's a thing. Thing we'll have to deal with eventually. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Um, so his remaining superpowers are Lightning Bolt, which would be really good here, then Evaporate and Backup Dancers. We could play around Lightning Bolt by Berry Blasting that. It's probably right to just Berry Blast this, set up Pop Shroom to proc the block, and then set up Poison Ivy. Now his Lightning Bolts, it's, you know, there's too many things he needs to use the lightning on. If he gets Backup Dancer, Evaporate will kill this one. And Backup Dancers will very likely block damage. So he gets Evaporate. So we get five. We also remove the Gargoyle. This is fine. We could use a Molecule. You can see, we don't have... Well, he's down to six health. I was just thinking, you know, we don't have cards in this situation that put out the game. But we don't need a whole lot more damage anymore. We can probably just chip him to death. I don't know, man. That's really good, because it means he can't respond to everything else we're doing. I'm just going to spam Mushroom for two. We're just going for chip damage. Chip damage. Oh, it was Mortal Kombat with Street Fighter. Chip, chip damage. It sounds such a gamer when I say stuff like that. We really need a Pine Clone. This really was one of the worst cards we could have got. The Shroom for two. We need just expensive now. I love if this rolled a two, because now this Puff Shroom is a proc the block threat. He also loses this guy. I, I, the fact this lane opens is so good for us here. It's a card. So he has backup dancers, which is oof. And he also has, um. Jeez! Sheesh! Okay. Well, proc the block, and then this will, well, yeah, anyway. God damn it, ooh, we're screwed. Why did he not play here, though, to get two eggs? That would have been better, also blocked more damage. That was a really bad play, but nonetheless, we're getting screwed here. I don't know how we're going to win this game, guys. I think now that we're gonna block getting time to shine, there's a, we have 18 health, so we can take some blocks. Here's something too. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Tap deck another berry blast would go a long way too. Okay. It's all about blocking and like getting another minion and a time to shine. There's no point in berry blasting something here. That's oh my god. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Sheesh intensifies. Let's just top deck another berry blast and we'll be fine. 
God damn. He's rolling ones too. Stop rolling ones. Stop rolling ones. Okay. Okay. I don't even know if this is gonna do anything anymore. Top deck berry blast, please. Please. Not good enough. If he passes though and doesn't play another minion, uh, the chance of that with nine brains with this guy is almost zero. But if for some reason he doesn't play a guy in lane two, uh, <laughs> especially if it's not Flamex. So we're four and three. Oh, maybe the deck needs a little bit more sustain at the end. That's the game that the deck fell short. You know what I mean? God damn it! We really just ran out of ran out of steam. We didn't get a pine clone. We got one molecule. So the answer is no. 51% of you voted no today. I would have voted yes on this deck, man. I'm upset. I'm mad. Oh, whoops. Slight spoiler. We ran out of steam. We just drew too many ones, ones and zero drops. And just weren't able to keep up with the amount of value he's put. We ran out of cards was the problem. That's such a good hand, man. Can we get rid of this? Maybe get rid of the Puff Shroom, right? It's only good, well... Yeah. Anyway, hopefully it doesn't kill this. So get rid of Puff Shroom and add Gatling P. Could probably be a good idea. It'll give a little more finisher. It can end up comboing with... Oh my gosh, we're just cheating now. Cheating.exe I know, what did we lose to? Also, dancing got it just he put more value on the field for those last few turns. That was all that was the all the game came down to. Stupid way to win. Oops, a spoiler. Sorry. This pine clone's bad, but I can't complain getting three click bees, you know? Do a little dance. Ain't a little love. Ain't time to know. You're right. First game I got broke by four drops, and the next game I didn't get enough. I needed just two. Ah, lightning. Got that from Quasar. Get do do do. Do a little do. Make a little do. Get boo do do. Should I try proccing the block here? Do a little do. I'll do this. Uh, well, Captain Cucumber said a Poison Ivy. The idea was to make it more aggro. Obviously, Poison Ivy is a way better aggro card than Captain Cucumber. So it would be a little unfaithful for the deck to do that, but maybe. Honestly, Poison Ivy is probably a better finisher than Captain Cucumber, too. You think if we have had Captain Cucumber instead of Poison Ivy, that game would have gone better? Maybe. It's just a very different deck at that point, though. So we rocketed that, so let's just set up the, uh... The pines! Set up the pines! The pines. I'll do it like this in case he summons something into lane 1. This will proc the block and this will happen. Chicken egg, interesting. No trap for territory. What the hell? Are you freaking kidding me? It's like he knew we were going for play. I mean, he only had four cards in hand. That's ridiculous, man. We're getting big and all easy here. Do a little dance. Make a little dance. It's just so much damage. It keeps the guy alive. Man is a berry blast to face away from lights out. Yeet! We call Barry Yeet. The stack is doing everything it needs to, man. I'm gonna try this switch here so we don't run out of steam again. A little sad with the puff shrooms. I really like the puff shroom too. Or the uh Let's 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 run some Gatling as a as a finisher. Wonder if plant food would be better. This'll be okay. 
Isn't this Pine Boss? Um, I can check the Pine Boss. That I made this. I didn't. I mean, first of all, there's no, there's no. Uh, the, the main finisher in Pine Boss is the, is the what's it called? The 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 the. the Repeat Moss. That's why it's called Boss. I don't remember what the Pine Boss deck list was. Though. It's been a while. Do a little dance. Second click P. Get down. See, this is why I don't want. I don't want this in my hand, my starting hand, man. Get out of my starting hand, army. How come every opponent is brainstorm? We see one brainstorm a month. Somehow, every, this is like this is game nine now. Played against plenty today. Top deck, click B. Just shuffle it right on, right on top. Here, I'm typing in Pine Boss to, uh... The Pine Boss. Here, let's see what my thing was. So that deck also had Onion Rings in it. It also had Banana Launcher. That wasn't really an aggro deck. You can play it aggro. It's mid-range, so you can play it aggro. It's similar. There's no mall can set a mall killer on repeat moss and uh onion rings. I guess it's a sort of a similar idea that you're going you have the option of going aggressive. This deck really is an aggro deck with the with the um poison ivies and all that, but you go aggressive and you have a little bit of sustain with your pine clones or your onion rings at the end. So. Maybe there's a similarity there. Repeat Moss's real name is Ross. Dude, Fry used to watch this stream years ago. Crazy, you're still going at it. Thanks. Still having fun with PvZ Heroes. Play some other games too. Check them out on YouTube. Really just getting into the variety a little bit now. So I went for the Bungie. It's pretty good. We win this trade. I'm probably going to be patient here with the, uh, with the Kale. It can get a lot more value. Slowing it down a little bit. The moment he overcommits, Gatling is just gonna whoa, whoa, lots of damage, so that's cool. Kind of a luxury. We didn't really get the tempo game, kind of a luxury to have that. What is he doing now? Wasting cards. This is gonna be a Valk deck, a trickster Valk deck, isn't it? With these beam me ups, man. This guy's sus. Bonus attack, cool. So that's much more trickster than Valk. How many tricks has he played? He got rid of my click PM one, so he played one, two, three, four. So Trickster's at six. For those who may concern. Man, he just keeps passing though. Stop passing. This is a really good play against uh against uh Brainstorm. It's two two cards, two threats that have three health apiece, not his speciality. Dealing with three health minions. Two more beat me ups. I know, I forgot the two repeat losses now. Teleport. Okay, I guess Trickster was at. I don't even know what Trickster was at, man. Man, I haven't seen people play Trickster decks in so long. Where the time has gone. Watch this guy pass again. Piece of garbage. Garbage. We need a leap. We need a leap. Do you need a leap? Fifth month baby. How you doing, Fry? Mad Mason, man. I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Thanks for five months. Hell yeah. The madman. Can I afford to take this? I don't feel like playing into. I don't know, man. Maybe I'll just do this next turn. You know what? Screw it. It's dry Gatling. And we'll do a Molokel combo. He'll remove something here. We'll do Molokel combo next turn. I don't want to remove this and then it gets fruit cake. So we. It's a fruit cake for. It's just too much value. This three is not worth removing right now for five damage. It's just three. There's helicopter. That's interesting. Expecting that. That's fine. We trade six for our five. We're keeping the tempo going here. And we have a really good Molokel player. So this will actually turn into a two drop, right? 
Can we get a two, a four? We have a bunch of fours. Just a, a crap load of fours. Should we be going with the fours to face? We have this also. We'll do this next turn. Probably teaming up against the trickster is, is safer here, right? He can probably burst us a little faster than we can burst him. Uh, maybe we'll get like a... I don't know. Maybe we'll get a repeat moss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Top priority. No, we don't have anything to put any, any more sun left. We could have actually gotten something from that. Oh man. When you're Captain Combustible and you play Molokal. And get repeat moss. And it doesn't do crap. Come on, man. Come on, man. Here comes the Valkyrie. Bruh. Jesus. Well, one. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's Eureka. Sheesh. Honestly, he, he killed a, a four drop with three damage. Honestly, quite sad indeed. already used a bonus attack. I'm just afraid of he's gonna Valk us right now. Probably not Valk if he's running bonus attack though. Who knows? <sighs> See, I don't have enough damage. I want to be able to clog these lanes. So we could just like Gatling in one. He's probably going for a teleport trickster. I don't know what to do here. Honestly, honestly, here's the play. I'm not even gatling it. I'll put that there. This here. I probably, well, let's buff like this one. So we'll have multiple things. These do more damage. Just playing around Teleport Trickster and... I don't really like committing the Gatling until it's going to win, or until he's at least committed some of his brains. So he rockets the 5-4. He can't even teleport. He's going to have to, like, trickster here. We're just taking a lot of his damage off the board by blogging these lanes. He can't actually even go face with the trickster anymore. Root cake. If that's the end of the turn, I'm very happy. Now, Trickster, okay. Damn it. So these trade. It's kind of cool getting um a freeze here, because it means this we don't have to worry about this for a turn. Gonna come in with maybe one more Trickster. If we play Gatling, he just teleport Tricksters that anyway. That that's really what I was afraid of. Oh. oh, shell. There's really no point in going face. We'll just jump block with it. The chances of this Gatling P living here are so small. Woo! So it turns out Shrimp for 2 and 1 might have been the better play. Play around a removal card. We win! We actually win the game, though. We don't even need the time to shine. Uh, there was a misplay. I should have frozen this. Play around a removal card and play the shrimp for two and one. But despite my misplay, we pulled it off. So were the Gatlings even good there? I don't think they were, man. It's just a case of your... I don't know. I mean, Brainstorm, any aggro deck against a Control Brainstorm Trickster deck is going to be rough. We just barely hold on to our britches there. Gatling could have evolved, but five damage is just not enough. If we Gatling dies, we're done. We need threats in multiple lanes because if he if the Gatling dies, he just kills us, you know? We need clogging lanes and stuff. This is an okay, especially Berry Blast against Zemek is usually good. Pine Clone is a very good card against Zemek. He also again really struggles against a bunch of three health minions. A little better at dealing with smaller threats. Hello. 
It's a pretty good curve. Yeah, we got bailed out by the block meter <laughs> down the stretch there, though. That's fine. It's an even trade. You can get another click pin. These are also very good. Again, just the Raptors. Good card against Zemek. See if he commits a Kong Man or a uh, Aerobics Instructor or something like that here. We, on the other hand, are very good at dealing 3 damage. You, on the other hand, are garbage. Double Kong Man. Oh, man. Interesting he had one and he didn't play it on turn one and went for Bungie instead. Usually you go Con Man on one and Con Man Bungie on two. Right there. Uh, we're probably doing this on five. I'll just spam this wherever it makes the, the better trade here. It's not terrible one for. Wait, it's all Con Man? Doesn't really matter where this goes. I should have added Repeat Moss instead. See, I don't know in an aggro deck if we're gonna reliably have uh, superpowers. Maybe we will. It, you're probably right. Instead of Gatling, it should just be Repeat Moss. Sorry, I didn't update the deck list. What have I been doing? I've been sleeping on the job. Totally forgot. Totally spaced it out. Complete. Completely out of it. And everyone passed in turn. Everybody passed in turn 40 day. I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what's going on. What do we do here? Is there any world that we actually play around chicken egg? Let's just do this. Uh, I should have played Quasar before playing Con Man, true. That is fine. That is fine. Please don't just. Just, just don't, just, that's fine, too. It's okay, it doesn't make it all the way through. It's mean to me. And that dies really badly to a Pine Clone. This is fine, really, Pine Clones dominate, are, are really good in every lane here. You say dominate, right, eight health. You should be able to stabilize now. True for two Pine Clones. That's nice, definitely the play. So, it's a play in another Gong Vile. Nothing can go face here, so we want to put more damage against the one that can actually... Uh, going viral here. So the 2 cost 3-3, which is nice. Going viral sucks in lane 1, though. Big time. Hopefully he has nothing. I'd love if he just says that. He still has a superpower, right? From Quasar. He hasn't shown us that. Really, just, if he doesn't have a going viral, we're in such good shape here. I don't care what else he has. Honestly, even chicken <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad, too. Hopefully he just has a, you know, hopefully he has nothing. Then we kind of win. That is fine. That is fine. He's, it's a bunch of damage we're taking. We're actually taking four. Wow. It's going to be four or five. Yikes, but if that's it, we're okay, because we can stabilize this. We have a berry blast for you. And we have three lanes clogged. Ooh, perfect! Don't get much better than that. Barrel. Um, I don't want to take damage if something conjures something, so we are going to very bless first. We just can't afford to take damage right now. And a bunch of five drops. 
<laughs> That's usually the kind of molecule they get. This is hot garbage for five. Again, it's still okay. This is so bad, though, bro. <laughs> hammer Shroom is just such an understand. What were they thinking with Hammer Shroom? Fun fact in the beta, Hammer Shroom was like a 5 6. They decided no. That's not pay to win enough. Oh. Okay, we have field clear, which is nice, so we're not gonna die to overshoot. We have like up to five damage and all six actually in a lane. Bro, just stop. Just make it stop. So we'll give him one of these. That's a lot of damage. Who knows what the last card is? Who cares? That's scary. We usually win here. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not even close. Is aerobics an aggro card? Yeah. Doesn't do a ton of damage on two, but the next turn does four. It's ridiculous. Aerobics is a proper aggro card. I hope he doesn't play. It's nice that we healed for one. Just makes it slightly less scary. <laughs> Alright, that's seven and three. Honestly, this deck performed really, really well. It's very likely that Repeat Moss is going to be... There probably is a little bit of an adjustment we can make to this, but this did the, the actual concept did well. A couple of the losses today were complete BS. We were running eight cards that cost four or more, and we had like four of them in our starting hand. Um... Gatlings, I don't know. Probably better run repeat moss. I think this is legit though. This was really strong. Hell yeah. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. That is going on YouTube. Uh, this is the Calgro deck, and again, I'm sorry I've been posting so many so many zombie decks lately. Really just doing this in order to get back into the mood of doing plants. Got a few more ideas of things to do. Maybe we'll do like imitator click the molecule. We'll go all in on that imitator uh molecule concept uh, all right guys hope you guys enjoyed that was very fun peace this is fry <laughs>